Went on a date with a girl I'd recently met. She wants to go to Texas Roadhouse. Take her there. She tells me it's her birthday tomorrow. I figured they'd bring cake or something for birthdays, so I tipped off the waitstaff. Things aren't going that well, not really feeling her. Get up to go to the bathroom to think over exit strategy. Walk out and begin to walk towards table when I see a conga line of staff pushing over a wooden horse and a saddle device towards the table while clapping. Way too awkward to go back now, make a break for exit. My last sight of her is through a window, sitting alone on a saddle with a cowboy hat while wait staff sing happy birthday. She had to pay the bill. Block a number in advance. Be me in second grade. Bullying classes at PSP, cool as shit all the time. He never bullied me, didn't interact with me whatsoever. I was getting good grades, so one day he asked me to write his homework and I could play on his PSP. He had that King Kong game. We had to do homework in school after class. Be me after class. I start doing his homework, decide to just write wrong answers so I can finish faster with it and play with some PSP. He doesn't suspect shit, thinks I'm the smartest man alive. He starts to get some very bad grades. Still doesn't suspect me, thinks that the teachers don't like him. He broke his PSP one day. The deal is off. He hasn't done his homework in almost a year. His grades become even worse. Fast forward 10 or 11 years. Talk with a friend of mine who still knows about the PSP kid. Tells me he now sells weed for cheap, dropped out of high school a while back. Fast forward to today. My friend tells me the PSP kid is dead. Off himself two months ago. Should I feel guilty? Am I responsible in any way? Go on a date with girl to a restaurant. We realize in the middle of the date that I'm not really into her. Strongly dislike confrontation. Tell her, I'm going to the bathroom. Get in my car and drive home. I don't know how she managed to get home, but I'm sure she did somehow. Am I a jerk? Wow, bit of a theme going on this week it seems. Be me, 24 year old with extreme social anxiety. Dining at a local restaurant or commentating on the food laughing as a fancy critique. A blonde man approaches me. He has a whole camera crew with him and is wearing a chef's apron. I look closer and it's actually the man himself. Gordon Lamb Sauce Ramsay. He overheard me talk about the food while he was sitting in the table across from mine. Every comment I made by sheer luck was accurate and matched with his. He asked me if I'm a food critique. My brain glitches and I say yes. Autism that MP3. He invites me over to be one of the clients in Hell's Kitchen. It's free food, so I say yes. The day of the shooting arrives. I enter the restroom with the others on cue and sit at my table. After ordering and waiting a while, my food arrives and I begin eating. The waiter asks me if everything is on par. The fish and pork is not cold. It's fucking raw! Any other rich robots here? Be me, 27, virgin. Make 300k a year. Work 70 hours a week. Grew up poor. Wanted to make money as a child so I could raise a family. Starting to realise there might not be a family to raise. I thought money was supposed to make dating easy, but I'm literally still a loser get zero action. What do I do, fellow robots? Eat edibles. Get hungry. Order dominoes. Feel bad. Get a surprise free pizza. Don't feel bad anymore. We're gonna make it a nonce. I love you! Be me. About 11 or 12. Mom's friend has a company picnic. It's at an amusement park a friend brings me. The day is pretty good until I have the shit. Nearest bathroom feels like it's a whole fucking park length away. Climbing fence to get there, when suddenly my pants start to feel inexplicably warmer. Ah oh, fuck. Make my way to the bathroom to confirm what I already knew. Can't think of anything to do, so I just pull them back up and leave the bathroom. Spend the next several hours trying to pretend that my pants aren't full of shit. When I do finally get home, I feel like a fucking Chan, because I'm sure I pulled off the ruse. My first thing I realized years later they could probably smell it and they knew the whole time. They never said anything at the time or any other time, but I know damn well they knew. Like 15 years later, I still think about this. Be living with myself and my two pets, a cat and a dog. Dog barks at everything and cat never gives a fuck about anything or anyone. Be asleep. Hear my dog barking. Not again, the JPEG. He shuts up after 30 seconds. I try to fall asleep again. After two minutes, my dog starts barking again like crazy. I go down to tell him to shut up. When I get down there, there is a friggin' burglar in the bookshelf. Ski mask and all. On the floor lies a gun. Beneath the bookshelf is my dog barking and jumping up after him. On the couch sits my cat, looking like he found my tuna stash. I call the police. They arrest the guy. I give my dog a sausage for being a good guard dog. 
A couple of days later, a guy called from the station. During the interrogation, the burglar admitted that he broke into my house, kicked my cat, and lured the dog into a closet. My dog jumped him two minutes later. The burglar didn't know my cat can open doors. He can't. My cat, being fuck everyone else, king of the house, can though. Taught himself that he can come and go as he please. My cat must have become pissed and released my dog so he could attack the burglar. My face and my cat is a dick. My face and I added animal cruelty to the charges. Fall off motorcycle at 150 miles per hour. Decapitated instantly. Body parts strewn down highway for a mile and a half. Added to COVID-19 death statistics. The last words were, If only I'd gotten the v vaccine. Also, but Black Lives Matter. The, the trans rights are human rights. But please give my organs to a trans feminine bear pick. And get get the j get the j ah. CNN reports that over on hospital beds are full of unvaccinated COVID patients that cause this man's death. Everyone believes it. Candlelight vigil, vax is made mandatory for all people worldwide. Joe Biden is a hero. Be me, 19 year old feminon. Become exchange student and go to the US. Her family is nice. The son, let's call him Dave, is cute. Fast forward three months. Son celebrates birthday. He turns 18. He was eyeballing me the whole time. Think he might have a shot at me if he tries it. We get completely wasted. His parents go to sleep. We move to their party shed. Some people leave early. We are left with this core group of five friends. I become the topic of conversation. They ask many questions about my homeland. We already know most Germans are still Nazis. Why are you like this? You do not really have freedom there. Must be nice to experience the US, right? I heard the age of consent that Germany is 14. Why are most of your men pedophiles? Shit went on like that for almost 20 minutes while trying to explain stuff to them with my heavy German accent. Get ridiculed and mocked. They won't even listen. Even Dave joins in. Go outside in tears. Some time passes. Dave comes to me. Wraps his arm around my back and tells me that it's alright, that it was just some fun and games. I smelled the alcohol in his breath, instantly disgusted. He tries to close in for a kiss, I push him away. He grabs my neck and tells me that I shouldn't play hard to get. He knows that the German women like it rough. I scream at the top of my lungs for help. His father comes outside, only wearing underwear. Asks what happened. Pointing at his son, telling him that he tried to force himself upon me. The father completely flips and gives his son a clean uppercut. Instant knockout. Comforts me, takes me inside. His wife listens in shock as I explained everything that happened. Can't believe what I just told her. They tell me that he will not get away that easy and that they will get the police involved. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Goda. Uh...